<laughs> good morning, good morning, you too. What's up, what's up, what's up? I just got up this morning. The 28th of July. Man, two weeks to go, two weeks to go. It's crunch time for me. I just got through inspecting my truck. Making sure that everything is in order. Guys, this is when the time comes with the moment of truth. I get to get out of here in two weeks. <laughs> Just check out. You always inspect your truck, even if you're a trainer doesn't inspect it. Which my trainer have been very thorough about checking the truck. You don't want anything to happen to this truck. Yes, man. Check everything. Make sure everything's in order. Then you warm up and get ready. Guys, I wanted to say, uh-oh, that doesn't sound good. Oh, wait a minute. Nah, she's just okay. She'll warm up. I hope nothing. You don't want your truck to break down. Uh, believe me. All right. All right, let's. All right. Good morning, YouTube. I hope everything's going well for everybody. Fitness truck guys on the road here. I've had some great comments on my last video, and I, as I promised, I'm going to make more and more videos every day on my progress up until the last two weeks I, I got going on here. Woo, guys, 14 days to go, and I am out of here. I'm heading back to the terminal. I'm going to get tested out and get my own truck. <laughs> and God, Jesus. Can't wait. Now, at this time, you want to make sure you focus on your trainer. Give them, give them, constantly keep going on and on about, yo, can I drive? Can I drive? Can I drive? Hey, man, I can drive. Hey, man, I can drive. Because you all curfew. Now, if you all curfew, believe me, I'll turn off these hazards. Don't need to be on. All right. If you all curfew, bug the heck out of him about driving. Because you want to get these hours done as fast as possible. If you don't let you drive for 31 hours a week, you're going to be here another four weeks. No, you want to drive at least your last two weeks, you want to drive at least 60 hours. If you can get 59.5, that's good. <laughs> and then you won't have it for three days within a third week, but still good. You want to get rid of those last two weeks, you want to get as many hours as you can in that last two weeks. As many as you can. Every chance you get, you bug the heck out of my driving. Bug them, bug them, bug them. Can I drive? Can I drive? Can I drive? You know, no matter what it takes, you bug the heck out of it. <laughs> anyway, around guys, always remember to do your 14 days of logbook. That's all they require you to do 14 days of logbook. Take that back with you. And of course, your driver, your trainer is probably going to fill out a lot of the information like your basic backing. Every time you back up, you're going to have to fill out documentation for them, which yeah, did good for me there. He hasn't been a very fun trainer, but he's he been educational. So, guys, uh, I just wanted to say this video for you this morning. I hope you're having a wonderful and blessed morning. I missed the family, and I spoke to my family this morning. I got my fresh of joy. I listened to me some gospel music this morning. I'm all ready and pump up. <laughs> and the only thing left for me to do now is drive. Drive this bugger. <laughs> and he went over there to get him some coffee. Cause he, for some reason, none of my trainer every day got to have two cups of coffee. <laughs> Me, I'm a Gatorade and water kind of man. You see where I'm at this morning? I'm in the driver's seat. Now, he'll let me know if I'm not going to drive this morning when he get back. Say, no, you're not going to drive right now. Way the way around, guys. Focus on your driving. Stay focused. And get those weeks done as fast as possible. I will keep you updated and keep you scooped. Until then, Douglas out. Peace.